Bay Area researchers have developed a new technology to help repair injured knees. And as ABC7 Morning News anchor Eric Thomas explains, it could someday change the way many surgeries are done. From bike riding to basketball, it would be hard to find a sport that Marty doesn't like. But the financial manager, who asked us not to use his last name, also paid a painful price with his right knee. I had just torn my ACL playing basketball for the second time in that knee. And uh, I had a pretty bad experience the first time. Uh, I mean, this, I had a um, patellar tendon graft. Marty turned to San Francisco surgeon Kevin Stone, who says the grafts typically involve harvesting bone and tendon from the front of the knee to rebuild the ACL. In the 21st century, we shouldn't be taking away one part of a person's body to rebuild the other. It's somewhat barbaric. And we know now with long-term data that we actually hurt the patient when we do that. That's the kind of incision we would like to make obsolete. One strategy is to wait for human donor tissue to become available. But in Marty's case, Dr. Stone was able to offer an experimental alternative, an animal ligament known as a Z-lig. So a Z-lig is a pig bone patellar tendon bone, so a pig graft that we can use to rebuild the anterior cruciate ligament in a human's knee. But first, Dr. Stone's team had to find a way to essentially humanize the tissue to prevent rejection. Researcher Thomas Turek said the solution involved identifying and removing a specific antigen found in animal tissue, but not in humans. Leading to a device that has no recognition. The breakthrough allowed Dr. Stone to rebuild Marty's ACL with the pig ligament as part of a clinical trial. He believes the Z-Lig has several advantages, including consistent quality. And now what we can do is take that exact same graft from a young, healthy pig. So we save the patient all the surgical trauma of having their own tissue used and we get to have it from a young, healthy animal every time. Trial results were successful enough that the Z-Lig received approval for use in Europe. For Marty, the best part of his rebuilt knee has been forgetting about it. I feel very confident in my knees. In fact, I don't think about it. I, I feel like I can do all the activities I used to do. Eric Thomas, ABC7 News. Now, just a few weeks ago, the first commercial implantation started in Europe. The Z-League team is still laying the groundwork for a clinical trial here in the United States. They say it could take about two years to complete before data can be submitted for FDA approval.